Welcome, 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 everyone. This is Tracy Una Wagner with Versatile Inspirations and the Lightworkers and Earth Angels Academy and Study Hall. And this is your weekly energy foresight for February 21st through the 27th, the last full week in February. Just flew by. <laughs> This month, we've been working with the Gilded Tarot Royale deck, and that is by Ciro Marchetti and Barbara Moore. So for this week, the 21st through the 27th, Monday through Sunday, the card that came through is the Seven of Pentacles. And the message from the Seven of Pentacles is... Be on the lookout for your manifestations being ripe and ready for picking. You've done the work, and now you should be ready to harvest all the bounty you've created. Don't hold back. Pick the fruit that is ready to be gathered and leave the rest. There is always plenty where this came from. So this week is all about you receiving those things that you have been trying to manifest. Now, when we manifest, remember, we believe that what we see, we will receive. If you can't believe it, then there is something that's blocking you from receiving it because you can't see it. If you don't truly believe that you can receive a million dollars, you probably won't receive that million dollars because you don't truly believe it. There has to be the belief in order for you to receive it. If you don't believe it, the universe doesn't believe it either. So it's not going to give it to you because you're not going to be able to see it, even if it was right in front of you. So remember, the manifestation process is all about believing in what it is that you're trying to create, using your third eye to really hone in and create a crystal clear vision of what it is that you're wanting to receive. What are you trying to manifest? See it clearly and completely in technicolor reality, in that beautiful third eye, being able to see it, whether you imagine it or you put it on a vision board or you just cut out pictures or draw pictures, whatever it is, see it crystal clearly. Know that you can receive it. Believe it to receive it. It's totally true. This is all about abundance and the tree is ripe for you to pick. It's just a matter of, do you have issues with abundance? Do you have issues with the idea of money or receiving or any of those things that we are trying to manifest or we are trying to feel abundant? We really need to get to the core of what that is in order to move past it, move through it and get rid of it, to be able to transmute it back into what it needs to be transmuted back into. Getting rid of that old paradigm, that old thought processes of lack, of not being able to have what you want, of being unlucky or unworthy, getting rid of those things so that you can see your beautiful, abundant tree full of fruit ready for you to pick and harvest. For midweek and end week, I decided to go with angel heart sigils, mystical symbols from the angels of Atlantis. And this is by Stuart Pierce and illustrated by Richard Crooks. And for midweek, which is the 21st through the 24th, Monday through Thursday, the card that came through is orientation. So this is a great card, especially if you feel lost. If you're not sure how to start manifesting, how to start receiving your rightful due, if you're unsure as to how to get past the idea of unworthiness or get past the idea of not being abundant, then this is a great card to help orient you back to where you should be, back to the idea of free will, of the idea of you being so worthy of all of those things that you can think of 
you are an individual and you have your own needs, wants, and desires, and you have the ability to bring them into your life. First, we have to get past all of that stuff. And with this card, Shamuel is going to help you by orienting you to your truth. Look to the stars, look to yourself, your higher self, your spirit team, Archangel Shamuel, and really work with him knowing that he is trying to help you in the stepping process of receiving your rightful due, receiving your true manifestation, receiving those things that you truly desire. So just know that the answers lie sometimes within us, but we can get help from everywhere, including out in the stars. So for end week, that is the 24th through the 27th or Thursday through Sunday, the card that came through is Metatron, Jubilance. Now, this card is perfect because how do we raise our vibration when we just feel maybe like we're just not worthy or we aren't receiving the abundance that we truly desire? We raise our vibration. We raise it with joy, with jubilance, with celebration. When you show that you're grateful and you're excited and ecstatic and jubilant about the life that you're living, the universe is going to give you more of the same, more of things that will create that joy, that jubilance in your life. And what is it that is making you joyful and jubilant? Your Things that you're grateful for, things that you are grateful for, not yet receiving, but in the process of manifesting, being abundant, manifesting your reality, manifesting those things that you want to see in your life. Metatron is a fabulous angel, archangel to work with. He is very powerful. And when we work with Metatron, we are working on that other level. We're working in that transpersonal level, that transpersonal existence. And that transpersonal existence is limitless, eternal, and totally abundant. There is nothing but abundance in the transpersonal sphere. That is the ultimate area in which our higher self resides. That is where the archangels and everyone is, is in that transpersonal space. And when we work with Metatron, we automatically rise to his level. Your higher self is already there with Metatron. We just need to get into that space in order to receive the messages of your worthiness receive the messages that you do deserve your just rewards. You do deserve those things that make your heart sing. And that when your heart sing, it really provides the space in which others are able to rise up and allow their heart to sing as well. So working with Metatron, finding that jubilance, finding that space where you feel joy, seeing it and believing it, Seeing those things that you want to create and make manifest in your life, creating the jubilance and the joy and the excitement in your life right now, so that when it does come into your sphere, you can grab it and harvest it right now. All right. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. I really appreciate it. And I appreciate you spending time with me. Thank you again. And as always, I'm sending you and yours love, light, and eternal blessings. Take care.